please visit papersailor.com to learn more about my book, Accidental Sailor Girl. And then it says remove heat exchanger header tank complete with pipes. We have a Perkins 4107. It's a pretty good engine. Uh, this one, this is the second time we've actually redone the head gasket. So we're pulling off the head at the moment and going to redo the head gasket on our Perkins. We had to do that in Sardinia as well. Uh, it had a bad back pressure inside the engine, which was uh, making it overheat and also making antifreeze leak out and boil over uh, out of the out of the uh, the header tank. So right now he's pulling out the push rods and taking off all the parts so he can get to the head bolts. The next step after taking everything off is pulling the head off of the block. Well, here's the head gasket. And there's water in the pistons actually back here. Happened, there's the head. We actually got to pull that head out of here, but we got a cable in you know, the way. You know, that might have happened when I pulled the head off the water that was in the head. Maybe. It just poured out into there. There it is. Now we get to replace this head gasket. Put some more goo on there. What's the name of that goo? Hylamar. Hylamar goo. Uh, here's our engine room. Before we pulled the head off, we actually took all of the antifreeze out of the header tank and replaced it with water so we didn't have to worry about getting antifreeze all over the boat. We tried a number of things before ruling out that it was the head gasket, like replacing the impeller and also the water pump, but then we realized that the water pump was fine, it was running good and flowing good. We even took out the thermostat and put the thermostat back in. And we even tried cleaning out the water system, thinking maybe that there was some scaling. And even looked at the heat exchanger, and that was fine too. We even read that there might be back pressure in the water system. We tried bleeding it. It worked for a minute, but then overheated again. Well, there's the head sitting up in our forward forecastle. The next thing to do is to clean the block and the head. We're gonna get the head checked too and make sure that it's doing okay. Now that the block's all clean, it's now time to put the head gasket back on to the block. So Pete is testing to make sure that the head gasket, which way the head gasket goes, it fits good with the copper up. Next he's pulling off any of the copper gaskets that, that sit on the head bolts. Then he's putting the Hylomar goo, which on a Perkins 4107, it tells you to put the goo on the head gasket. And then he's pushing it onto the block. Carefully putting more of the Hylomar goo on the other side of the head gasket. And it's time to put the head on. The head is now lowered back onto the bolts very carefully so not to bend any of the bolts. Then when you want to torque down the nuts on the head to tighten up the head onto the gasket, you want to make sure that you do it in the right sequence. So our Perkins manual shows you the sequence of which nuts to tighten. Okay, so... Lubricate cylinder head studs and nuts. We did that. Then tighten nuts progressively in three stages. Sequence shown figure E20, which is this picture, this sequence, and page B3. This final torque tightening stage should be repeated. Cylinder head nuts. We have a 4107, so we need to do it at 42 or 57 Nm, which I think is what we had to do was Nm because I think this was a European pork crunch because we had to buy this in Italy. Now it's time to put all the nuts back on the motor. Don't drop them. using a 9 16 socket right now just to tighten them down a little bit and then we'll use the torque wrench to get it down to the correct tightness. We're getting them kind of all even right now just sitting on, on the surface. Now that the nuts are evenly sitting on the head, it's time to torque them to the sequence that is shown in the manual. 
See, this is a half inch thing, but. When but you torque the nuts uh, down, you want to do it progressively and three okay, stages. 57. And M is what we're supposed to have. Yep, that's number two. I'm just going to do it really full tight, don't worry. And then number three is this one. Number 11 is directly across from that one. And where's 15? Oh, 15, I see 15. Don't lose count. Oh, the f number 14 is a different size? That's right, I remember that. We've had to do this before. There's always one. Yep. Now he's bringing it up to torque. There it goes. There, that's, now. that's 57. Now number two is the one down from it in the middle still. Right across from it here? Yep, in the middle still. Okay. Okay. And then number three. Now that the head's all torqued down, we can put the rest back together. We're going to have to redo this again after about 25 hours of motoring. This is a Paper Sailor production. Please visit papersailor.com.